Bonjour! Today we are going to learn how to say some in French. So basically, we are going to learn how to use partitive articles in French. Okay, so let's have a look at what are partitive articles. What are they and how to use them? Partitive articles are used to express an unknown quantity of something, a part of something that cannot be counted. For example, je mange du pain. I eat some bread. We are not giving the specific quantity that we are eating here. It's some bread. It is often used for food, but not only. In French, the partitive article changes depending on the gender and number of the noun that follows. So every time you've got to think to yourself, what is the noun? Is the noun starting with a vowel or an H? In that case, it is going to be de and an L with an apostrophe. If the noun is plural or noun, okay, plural, noun, it's going to be de, D-E-S. If the noun is masculine, it's going to be du. If the noun is feminine, it's going to be de la. Okay? So let's have a look at some examples using various nouns. Je mange de la confiture. I eat some jam. So why are we using de la? Because we are using confiture. The noun is feminine. So it has to be de la. I eat some jam. De la confiture. J'ai acheté du beurre. I bought some butter. So why are we using du this time? Because beurre is masculine and it is singular. Let's have a look at this one. Je bois de l'eau. I drink some water. Now, in this case, it says D-E-L apostrophe, de, l'eau, because O begins with a vowel. O is actually a feminine word, okay, but it starts with a vowel. So, regardless whether it's feminine or masculine, if it starts with a vowel, vowel, we use de, L apostrophe. In this case, water is feminine. Je mange des pâtes. I eat some pasta. Now, pasta in French is plural, okay? So we say pastas, okay? In this case, we use de. In this case as well, pat is feminine plural, but we don't know that. We're using just de, okay? Now, whereas the partitive some is not always required in English, it is always needed in French. You cannot omit it, so you've got to use it, okay? Remember de, l apostrophe, de le, du, de la, de. Always. Now, what happens when we're using the partitive articles with a negation? Now, when using a negation in the sentence, the partitive articles de, la, du, de, and de, l apostrophe, become de or d apostrophe. For example, je mange du pain. Remember, I eat some bread. Je mange du pain. But we want to say... I don't eat bread, okay? I don't eat bread. We would say in French, je ne mange pas, and then the partitive article de pain, okay? You couldn't say je ne mange pas pain. You've got to have the partitive article here. And it can't be du, it has to be de, because we're using ne pas. And this applies for the rest. Je bois de la limonade. I drink some lemonade. But what happens if we want to say, I don't drink lemonade? Well, in English, it I don't drink lemonade. You don't say, I don't drink some lemonade, necessarily. You can omit it. In French, you've got to have this partitive article. And you've got to think, well, I am using a negation. So therefore, no matter what, the partitive article will be de. Je ne bois pas de limonade. You see what happens here? Let's have a look at what happens in the case of a plural sentence. J'ai acheté des pâtes. I bought some pasta. Remember, I have just said that pasta is plural in French. We want to say, I did not buy pasta. Now, we've got a composed uh, tense here, a passé composé. I have bought. We want to say, I didn't buy. So, here it is. Je n'ai pas acheté 
and then de pâtes, because we are using a negation. You wouldn't say je n'ai pas acheté des pâtes. Je n'ai pas acheté de pâtes, because we are using a negation. What happens when we have a de with an L apostrophe? J'ai de l'argent de poche. I have some pocket money. Je n'ai pas d'argent de poche. See what happens here? Argent still begins with a vowel here. So we can't say je n'ai pas de argent de poche. We've got to drop the E. So we put D apostrophe. D'argent de poche. I don't have pocket money. So now, what happens when we use adverbs of quantity with partitive articles? Now, an adverb of quantity could be something like peu, which means little, assez, which means enough, trop, which means too much, beaucoup, which means a lot, plus, which means more, moins, which means less. Now, the partitive article de la, du, des, de, elle passe, elle apostrophe, also become de, de, or d uh, uh, apostrophe when using these quantity adverbs, okay? For example, je mange du pain, okay? I eat some bread, so we are very aware of that because we've used that three times, twice already. Uh, but we want to say, I don't eat um, much bread, okay? Or I eat little bread, okay? Little being peu, peu. Je mange peu de pain. Okay, so you wouldn't be able to say je mange peu du pain. Okay, you've got, because you are using this adverb of quantity, you've got to use the de after it. So je mange peu de pain. You see? Let's have a look at the same example as before. Je bois de la limonade. Okay, I drink limonade. Okay, de la because it's feminine. But you want to say this time, I drink too much lemonade. And we want to use the adverb trop. Trop means too much. So, je bois trop de limonade. Can you see that? Je bois trop de limonade. Well done. Let's have a look at what happens when we use des, okay? And when we want to say a lot. So, j'ai acheté des pâtes. I bought some pasta. J'ai acheté des pâtes. We want to say I bought a lot of pasta. J'ai acheté beaucoup de pâtes. And by the way, you will never say beaucoup de, ever. You always say beaucoup de, a lot of, beaucoup de, ok? J'ai acheté beaucoup de pâtes, ok? And to finish, what happens when we use a de and an l apostrophe in a sentence and we want to use an adverb of quantity? J'ai de l'argent de poche. I have some pocket money. But we want to say I have less pocket money using moins. So think about that. J'ai moins d'argent de poche. I have less pocket money. Can you see that? Okay, so now let's have a look at what happens when we use these partitive articles using a quantity. Not an adverb of quantity, but a quantity, such as I've got uh, 500 grams of it, for example. So you're giving me a quantity. Well, the same thing applies. The de la, the du, the de, the del apostrophe also become de or de apostrophe. So let's take our jam, for example, as an example. J'ai de la confiture. I have some jam. But you want to say I have 500 grams of jam. J'ai 500 grams de confiture. You wouldn't say j'ai 500 grams de la confiture. Mm -mm. J'ai 500 grams de confiture because you're giving me a quantity. For example, you could say je voudrais des pommes. I would like some Apples. Now, we're using D because we want more than one apple. But what if you wanted to say, I would like a kilo of apples. Je voudrais un kilo de pommes. Je voudrais un kilo de pommes. I would like a kilo of apples. So, see what happens? We 
Don't say D, un kilo de pommes, we say de, because we are giving a quantity. Let's have a look at this one. I have some milk. J'ai du lait. And we want to say, I have a liter of milk. J'ai un litre and then de lait. And not, j'ai un litre du lait. Okay, so we're using de. Okay, that's it for me. If you want the support guide for this lesson, why don't you become one of my members at YouTube? Just click on the join button. Now, leave a comment, subscribe to the website to be kept updated by what's going on in the world of Learn French with Alexa. Au revoir, à bientôt, bisous, bisous, salut!